Hey guys, how are you? In a different part of my house today. I'm actually in my formal living room, sitting in there watching baseball. So I thought I would take a chance to come over here and finally go over my monthly meal plan. Again, my name is Tony. Welcome to my channel. I am on keep the ketogenic diet. My husband is on OMAD. He is not keto, but he is sugar-free. So there's some meals when I plan my monthly meal plan. I have to plan, you know, for his things that he likes to eat. He's not a big veggie eater. So we, you know, have some differences in our diet, but our proteins tend to be able to be interchanged back and forth. So I plan my monthly proteins. Now for breakfast, I just make sure I have bacon sausage and a lot of eggs always. And so those are, you know, standards. Lots of cheese, always have cheese. I don't even inventory the cheese because we always have cheese. So, um, and we generally have some kind of lunch meat, that kind of stuff. Um, I get, I should prefer to get from the deli and I'll buy it on sale. Like when they bag it up at the end of the day because they just have a little left of some certain portion or whatever. So I have lost over 60 pounds on the keto diet since June of 20 and 2018. And um, I haven't lost a lot here lately, but I'm having a little bit of a thyroid situation. So I'm taking thyroid medication now and hopefully that will help. Things start to come off again, but I'm actually super happy. Went from a 22 to a 16 in women's, I mean not in women's, in ladies. And so I can't complain. I'm happy with a 16, I could live with that. That's fine, if I can shop at a normal store, I'm good. Okay, so let's get back into how I do the keto diet. Now I know I did a pantry and freezer tour with you guys a couple videos back. I also did keto on a cruise. If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna do my best to try to link it right here. Cause I'm figuring that stuff out. So if I point my finger up here, maybe I'll figure that out. <laughs> Give myself a lot of extra time. <laughs> okay, if it's up there, you guys know, hey, she's getting good at this. Okay, anyways, so um, I usually do cooking videos on this channel. If you follow me, you probably know that, that I like to like cook a lot. And um, I was talking in the car. I actually made a little bit of a video, but then I decided that not to use it. But um, I talked a lot about how I always feel like my purpose, like it's just to be cooking in the kitchen and not often sharing other content that I've learned from the group, big YouTubers out there that have all the content information and the Dr. Berg and Thomas DeLauer and a lot of the other really successful keto channels that I watch, Lauren Brazy, Keto Ginger, Keto Steve, um, Daniel Diaries, um, Free to Family, The Council of Carb, like I watch all of those. I'm hoping to meet several of my KetoCon this year because I am going and I'm super happy. But the purpose of our video today is after we went through my freezers, I made my inventory. I don't know how well you can see it, but I always put them, some people type these. I'm just like a pen and paper on this one. So I put the protein and then I put little circles for each for the amount of them I have so like for whole chickens I have three whole chickens so I have three circles and when I use one of those whole chickens I'll color the circle in so at the end of the month I know what I still have it's towards the end you know I do have a meal plan for the month and I'm going to show that to you now um so I mean I have I am going to have very little have to purchase this month. So my Costco haul is will be small because I don't need much. I need some ground meat and that may be it because I have like a ton of food because of, you know, how much activities we did this last month. I will need to get coffee. As I said in my last video, in my other video, we buy a bag of Dunkin' Donuts coffee from Costco and it will last us for three whole months and we make coffee every day. So we'll keep it in the freezer and I have a little container next to my Keurig that I keep, well, it's not Keurig, it's cake cup coffee pot combo thing so i set it for 4 a.m my husband gets up he i make the pot of coffee it goes off at four in the morning automatically it makes the pot of coffee he gets his coffee and then he heads out to work and then when i get up to go to work which is later he leaves at 4 a.m i get up later and the coffee's cooled down so then i make iced coffee and that's my favorite so creamer i need creamer let me write that down <laughs> i need creamer and we use sugar-free creamer. He uses French vanilla coffee mate, I think, blend, and it is sugar-free. And I use the International Delight Sugar-Free Caramel Macchiato. I love that one, and I've only found it at Kroger's. 
So if you have a Kroger affiliate or a Kroger's in your area, yum. It is delicious. I love it. It makes it like a Starbucks drink and it's awesome. I put some some um, collagen powder and stuff in there too. Just mix it up real good. Anyways, that's another video. So back to the, so I have my inventory here. I know everything that I have in my freezers because I have three, so it's a lot to keep track of. So I sat down and I made my meal plan. So how I did this meal plan, and I will see, like so you can screenshot it or whatever if you need to. You're trying to. So what I have done is I've, I'll probably turn it around and blow it up a little bit on here because I know this writing's kind of dim. So I, just because this week was empty on this calendar, um, well except for the first, I went ahead and themed the days of the week. So for us, Taco Tuesday is every week. So every week on Tuesdays we make tacos. Now I have to preface that to say whatever we make tonight is what we eat for lunch tomorrow because I don't eat after I get off work at six and my husband uh, just has a, um, a Herbalife shake before he goes to bed. So he only eats lunch as well. And breakfast shake, dinner shake, only lunch. So that's OMAD, one meal a day. So we've got Sunday is themed chicken, uh, Monday is themed burgers, Tuesday is themed taco Tuesday. We have Wednesday is a pork dish, Thursday is a beef dish, Friday is another chicken dish, and then Saturdays I always like to make breakfast, so I'll do a big brunch type of thing. So, and then uh, Sundays is meal prep for Monday. So Sundays is a free day technically because we're not gonna eat, you know, we might have breakfast both days, but we generally do a lunch, and that's usually a little lunch meat, or you know, we'll make something, leftovers, whatever we have. So, and also, to add to my grocery list, I was unaware that one of my friends has gifted me a green chef box. So we've been sharing our free boxes and so everybody brings the boxes back to me so I can cook the food and then bring the food and everybody eats it. So it's like I end up cooking it anyway. So it doesn't matter who we gift it to because it's always gonna end up back here again, which is fine with me. Free green chef boxes, I can't, can't go wrong with that. Okay, so um, just to kind of give you a, an idea of what I have on here is so on this Sunday which was a few days ago we were on plan we did Parmesan chicken and broccoli with cheese sauce and I did film the Parmesan chicken so I know I put that up on my Instagram I don't know if I put it on YouTube but I put a little video of it I had to do it with my phone because my memory card in the camera was uploading a video of the cruise video actually so um we did Parmesan chicken and then on Monday I made a bunless burger and Sid had a burger to take to work and he uses a bun. So he's pretty gluten free but he does use his hamburger buns. He doesn't eat much bread at all but the hamburger buns he'll have once a week. Taco Tuesday we made a pound of ground beef with the taco seasoning. We cut up the lettuce and tomatoes and um, some he takes a shredded cheese. I shred my own and I like to make a taco salad. So that's how we do our Taco Tuesday. And he usually uses some gluten-free tortilla chips that he takes to work with him and he makes a taco salad at work. So we're gonna have on tomorrow, I will make pork chops and bacon green beans. Now this is one meal that we will eat together, like we will both eat the same thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bread these pork chops in ground up pork rinds, put and then I'm gonna air fry them in my ninja foodie. And I do make ninja foodie videos also. I do cook a lot with my ninja foodie. I use it probably close to every day. So I love it. Um, so I'm gonna do that pork chops with a bacon green beans. On the next day, I'm gonna do roast with radishes. And then on Friday, we'll do roasted chicken with broccoli with cheese sauce. And then on Saturday, we're gonna have bacon, eggs, um, and cheese tacos. I'll have a low carb tortilla and Sid will have his normal flour tortilla if he wants it or a low carb one. Sometimes he does that. So the following week, just to show you kind of how I kind of spread it around, well, again, we'll have Sundays, always chicken, so I'm doing an air fried drumsticks with a loaded cauliflower mash. So I'll make the sour cream and the cheese and the bacon bits and all things that you would put in a loaded baked potato, but in the cauliflower mash. Um, again, we'll have burgers on Monday and tacos on Tuesday. Um, I'm gonna do a pork loin on Wednesday, my Ninja Foodie, and we'll do that with some veggies. Now, Sid will probably do garlic butter corn, and I'll most likely do broccoli or cauliflower cauliflower rice something you know I have to flavor it up I can't eat cauliflower rice just 
the butter and I have to put stuff in it. It needs to taste good. Anyways, I'll use some stew meat that I have out my freezer. On Thursday, I'm gonna make some beef stir fry with peppers and mushrooms. Sid won't eat peppers and mushrooms, so he'll just get a portion of the meat prior to me adding the veggies, which is also gonna be done in my Ninja Foodie. Um, on Friday, I'm going to make um, chicken and rice for him. I use um, the canned chicken. So I'll make chicken and rice for him with a can of cream and chicken soup, and then I'll make chicken and collie rice for me with chicken broth and some other seasons and flavors that I used to kind of think it in it. So we'll both be having chicken and rice, but I'll have collie rice. So on the next, that Saturday on the 15th, we're gonna have um, coconut flour pancakes with uh, sausage and sugar-free syrup. So that's gonna be a yummy. Then we're gonna do that Parmesan chicken again on the 16th with broccoli and cheese. We'll do burgers on Monday, tacos on Tuesday. Um, Mustard pork chops. I have I have that recipe. Um, I have a video on my channel for that um, And I'm gonna do that with collie rice and then I'll do that with regular rice for Sid So he'll have that and then I have a little pack of fajita meat out there in the freezer that I'm gonna make for Sid and with um, Some onions and peppers um, He won't eat those but I will and then um, we'll have it with a little low carb tortillas um, On that Friday, we're gonna do a roasted chicken and the ninja foodie. I'm gonna do a whole chicken uh, twice this month and I have three whole chickens so I have one you know in case of emergency but anyways reminds me I need to go thaw that chicken out because it'll take a couple of days in the fridge anyway so I'm gonna roast a chicken and my ninja foodie and I'll do some keto coleslaw with that it's phenomenal so I'll need to get the um, coleslaw from the the coleslaw from the you know the department with the, the, the veggie department the produce department there we go Coleslaw. Okay. Just writing down notes. Okay. So, um, we are going to do Parmesan chicken on the 16th. I said that. The peppers, roasted chicken. And then on that Saturday, I'm going to make keto blueberry French toast. So, there's a bakery close to here. I've mentioned several times called Marina's Bakery and Events. We buy loaves of this blueberry bread. It's keto, sugar-free, gluten-free, all the things. And I'll slice it up and I'll put it in the egg batter and I'll fry it and make French toast. And then we put some sugar-free syrup on it and it's super delicious. And we'll have that with some sausage. It'll be awesome. So then we're gonna do some crispy air fried chicken with jicama fries on that Sunday. So I will be breading that chicken also in pork rinds with egg and pork rinds. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna try the jicama fries, which is the jicama. I don't even know how to spell jicama. Thank you, spell tech. Anyways, um, then we'll do burgers and tacos again. And then I have some sausage, Italian sausage meatballs in the freezer. I'm gonna use that with some Rao's marinara sauce and a palmini pasta. That's the pasta that's made out of artichoke hearts. And I haven't tried it yet. I had a can of it in the pantry, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna make Sid some gluten-free spaghetti to put his on. So we'll both have that, but do it with just a different pasta. And then I'm gonna make a broccoli beef, uh, keto-friendly broccoli beef um, on that Thursday with some stew meat that I have in my freezer. Um, I have some drumsticks, so we're gonna do barbecue drumsticks and cucumber tomato salad. It's just a little bit of tomato, but uh, with um, some rice wine vinegar, some apple cider vinegar, and some white vinegar. So you did that with a little bit of swerve to make kind of offset the bitter and then you put that with your cucumbers and some red onion and a little bit of tomato and it's super delicious super delicious um and then we're going to do the coconut pancakes with sausage and survey syrup again on that saturday and on that following sunday i'm going to do my pf chang's copycat lettuce wraps which i do have a video on my channel for that you should check that out those things are awesome with the butter lettuce you put it oh my gosh it's so good Anyway, so that is my milk pan for June, and I don't know, can I, I'm going to find a way to make a pic, take a picture of it so that you guys can see it clear and good. I'll try to, try to take a picture and then I'll leave it where it sits for long enough for you to take screenshot it, if that helps. And just in case you need some ways of getting organized, I just find to plan my month, my proteins, and then like pick like always Mondays is going to be a burger and always Tuesday is going to be a taco. So I know I need burgers and ground meat. I use those prime burgers from Sam's. Super delicious. I mean, not Sam's, from Costco. So anyways, um, 
and then you pick pork and then you just and so I go through my pantry and I see what I have and then I go through my meal plan and see what I need so I already I know I have three whole chickens I have chicken legs I have canned chicken I have split breast so the split breast we will be able to use for this Parmesan chicken um, that we're making on the 16th because we already used chicken for the other one so I'm gonna make a highlighter on the Parmesan chicken because I already have what I need to make it I have Parmesan cheese I have all of that um, and then I have I know I have in here what I need to make the burgers for all of these days I have eight patties in there so that's two each I mean one each for four day four meals um, taco Tuesday I have only one one pound package of ground beef and I have one one and a half pound so I've got two of these days covered so I'll highlight those and I know that I need to I need to get some more burger meat to last throughout the month to have for those other two days so then I know I have my drumsticks because I have on my thing here I have three packets of drumsticks so I'm gonna highlight through that and my loaded cauliflower I have cauliflower mash in the freezer already so I'll highlight that see how, what we're doing here is we're highlighting so we know this is already on hand we don't need to buy it pork chops on hand bacon and green beans on hand roast and radishes on hand so I just go through here and I'm marking off what I already have that I have here I have the pork loin I have the beef stir fry I just needs the peppers and mushrooms I have the chicken and rice and I have the collie rice I need to get coconut flour but I have sausage and sugar-free syrup so we're just going here with the crispy air fried chicken we're gonna do the quarters I have some leg quarters out there but I need to get the jicama um, I have the meatballs and the rows and the palmini I have broccoli and beef I do have some fresh broccoli but I think I'm gonna make that this week because it is kind of been here for a minute so I'll need to get more broccoli so I'm gonna leave that but I can mark off the beef because I have some stew meat out there I'm going to use. I have the fajitas. I have the little carb tortillas. I have the whole chicken. Um, I have the blueberry toast. I have the bread in the freezer. I have the mustard pork chops. So I'm using the pork chops here. So I need to get these pork chops. But I have the collie rice. And I need ground chicken for that. I'll need, I have these drumsticks. I need coconut flour. Okay, so out of my entire month, I need to buy two pounds of ground beef. I need to buy a packet of pork chops. Um, I need to get some broccoli, cucumbers, red onion. So like very little is not pink on this page. So we are going to save some money this month on groceries. What? And not to mention, we could live a month on just the fish we have out in the freezer that Sid has been catching since he's been in this, this, um, it's kind of like a tournament or whatever. Everybody's out there fishing and, you know, adding up what they catch and they're trying to find tagged fishes that are worth these big prizes, boats and fit, boats and things like that. So he's been fishing a lot. So he always brings home a ton of fish, which means he's not just fishing, he's catching. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So this is how I plan to make an inventory make a plan now if something goes different than this plan and we mix these around days and days I will just mark them with a blue highlighter as we eat them so like these ones will be blue here as soon as I go get my blue highlighter um, I'll blow out the ones we've already done so I'll know when that protein or that meal and what it takes to make it is already been used of course we'll go for produce because we'll need lettuce and tomatoes we have now enough for next week it'll still be good but the, you know weeks after that you're gonna have to go back because it's not gonna be good in two weeks from now so I also have enough lettuce and tomatoes some uh, broccoli I have some lemons and limes I have a head of lettuce what else do I have in there some broccoli like I said an onion a couple onions so our produce is pretty low right now so I probably will make a produce run I usually do that at Aldi um, so, um, what I will be getting from Costco, that's the next question. So I know I'm going to get coffee and then I need to get creamer, but I like to get that at Kroger as I mentioned. So I'm just going to, what did I do with my pen? Do you have my pen? Do you have my pen? <laughs> I got it. 
please let me not write on the couch because I'll be in trouble. I ain't trying to get in trouble today. Okay. He wants to come. Apparently. Gotta be here somewhere. Anyways, I'll find it in a minute. So I'll make a list as soon as I get my life right over here, apparently. And um, I'll get that together and I will go to Costco to get the coffee. I also get this chocolate coconut. It's dark chocolate coconut kind of situation. It's delicious and it's pretty, pretty good on the carbs and sugar. And it's something you can have a little bit in moderation. We do have a flashing battery, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I hope this information was helpful. I hope it gives you some ideas on how you can make some meal prep or planning for your month to make your keto success story real. And you can do week by week if that works for you. But just get your plan together, put it down on paper, make it happen, makes your life easier and you're not thinking about what's for dinner tomorrow. It's not a thought. You're just going through the motions. You know what's for breakfast, bacon, eggs, and sausage, bacon, bacon, eggs, and whatever, you know, just keto breakfast. And then um, we got our lunches. I don't need dinner. So we're good to go. So anyways, I will see you in my next video. Please give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit the bell and all things YouTube. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. As I say, thank you so much.